this is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and today we're going to do a smackdown between the iPhone 5 and the Samsung Galaxy S4. Well, this is probably going to get you fanboys a little upset, going to get your knickers in a twist, but we're going to try to be unbiased. We're going to try to look at the features on each, and honestly, this is not going to be a very long video, because I think there's some really important differences you need to look at. You can look at specs all day, all night, and it's really going to come down to something not so much based on specs. So here we are, two flagship phones from two huge manufacturers who would, well, like to kick each other's butts in the marketplace. Honestly, you know that. I know that. Both of them are available in your choice of black or white. Look at the difference in size. First important point right here. Like I said, we're not going to beat this to death with specs. It's not as meaningful in this case, I don't think. First off, interesting thing is a lot of people say they like their iPhone because they like the small size. They just won't carry anything huge. Conversely, there are people who, once they start using the big display, this lovely 5-inch display right here, or even something bigger, Samsung Galaxy Note 2 with the 5.5-inch display, but anyway, you get the idea. All the top Android phones have big displays because a lot of people also like really big displays. It's awesome. When you're watching video, 